and we're back. Howdy y'all, this is Ethan Bond Real playing more Oracle of Seasons, and last time we were here, uh, we ran into Maple like three fucking times, found a murder kangaroo, drained a lake slash river, and opened up the way to the next dungeon. This time around, we're gonna go in that dungeon, and we're gonna see if I remember what to do. Also, spoilers, I have a shield that I forgot to mention. I kind of grabbed it unceremoniously. It's a bad deal because you can buy the shields for cheaper in Oren Village, but I wanted it, and now I got it. So, now we- Shit! We can't go in the dungeon yet. I'm a liar. <laughs> we gotta make a detour, friends. Do you know what that detour is to? Well, this fella person would have told us, but I'm not gonna talk to him because I already know what to do. Because I have my handy dandy player's guide here. Not really. I actually really am curious what I did with my player's guide for this game because it's really good. Uh, I really, as I mentioned in Oracle of Ages, I bought the player guide, player's guide before- what the fuck? Hey, it's our dinosaur friend. We I found something weird. If we catch it and sell it, we'll be rich. And the great moblin will be very pleased. Well, fuckers, spoilers, you're gonna fucking die. Oh, no you're not. Can't murder them. Okay, what ifs. We sold it, we're rich. We let it go. Then you can pay us for it. Fifty rupees. Sure, fucker. Oh my god, please. We, man, I, this would have been a lot easier if I could just kill them like all the others. What ifs? What's up? Bonray, I've been trying to find you. We're friends. You help me. I help you too. If you need me, play this flute. If I hear it, I'll come. Damn right you will. Got my fucking murder dinosaur here. Let's go. I chomp when you press A, and I swim like a fish, even up waterfalls. You can also carry me using the power bracelet. You know, it actually makes absolutely no fucking sense that Dimitri is the swimming thing, um, because Dodongos are literally made of solid rock, so that doesn't... that don't really make no sense to me, but whatevs. Although I guess the, uh, Dodongos and the, uh... Oh, you know what? This is a little silly that you can't get off Dimitri to get in there, but... Um, in, like, Twilight Princess, Dodongos were more like geckos, weren't they? I don't remember. Anyway, you can carry me and throw me when you use the power bracelet. Wanna try? Nope. See ya! We are gonna go this way. Can't go there yet. But, what Dimitri is trying to get us to do is not to fall in these holes. But... I know exactly what I want to do, and also, if I needed him, I could just go back to... I'm pretty sure the portal is where he is. There we go, yeah, it's right there. If I needed to do that, I would have just done it. <laughs> um, but I didn't, because I know where to go. So, we're in Sabrosi again, spoilers. There's our favorite trash bag people, hi Sabrosians. Now we gotta find out what the fuck was I supposed to do. Do I go here? No, I don't. Okay. Forgot where we So there are like so Sabrosia is like divided up into like multiple sections. And so sometimes when I pop in I forget what section I popped up into. So this is like the bottom portion, kind of. Huh. I forgot what we're supposed to do. <laughs> Shit, dude. Okay. I probably should talk to people like the game wants us to to figure out where to go, but I think I'm gonna remember if I see- Also, there we go, the market. Holy shit. So, let me tell you something real quick. I'm gonna- I'm gonna blog a bit while I whip out the shovel. So, Sabrosia does not use the same currency as the overworld. It uses ore chunks, which is what that shit that just popped out of the ground was. So I'm gonna farm up some ore chunks, I think. Actually, I'm gonna check the prices in the shop before I even do that. Because there is a plot item hanging out in this market that looks like one of the trash bags. Yup, we need this thing. Sadly, we can't steal it. Star-shaped ore chunk. I know what to do now, okay. So, we need to go on the beach. On the beach, there is a rare star-shaped plot item that we can trade, ooh, that's good, for some plot items. And th 
that is basically what we have to do here. Um, they're forcing you to use the shovel to dig up like every fucking tile on this goddamn beach so that you can find that item. Um, which, I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but it is annoying because I would like to not have to do this. But it forces you to figure out that ore chunks are the currency here, and this is really the only way of getting ore chunks, is just digging and digging and digging. I actually think it might only be on the part of the beach with the shore, but I don't really care, because we could use the ore chunks. Um, in certain areas, according to the game, certain areas are more rich in ore chunks, but I actually don't believe that. I think that's just a thing uh, that is part of the story, but... In Hey, we found it. You found the star-shaped ore. Maybe you can trade it for something special. We totally can. We can trade it for access to the next area, basically. In the long run, that's what it does. Huh. Oh, I said I was going to vlog a bit, but I didn't, I didn't tell you about my life. I feel like such a creep as I do. So, we are going to grab this cute ribbon, and we'll trade the ore for it. You got the ribbon. You see something you want? We can trade. What do we give? 20 ore chunks? We are totally gonna do that. You got a piece of heart. Alright, so we actually passed another piece of heart on our way here, but... We... Don't need... Them yet. We're gonna do that. We're gonna... I'm gonna grab some heart pieces all at the same time. I feel a little bit bad because an oracle of ages. I didn't do any. <laughs> I didn't do any extra shit because I was just ready to get through it. Because I was a little embarrassed it took so long. Because I spent like like four fucking episodes in some dungeons, dude, and I'm taking like one or one and a half to complete the dungeons now, and I'm glad for that. Oh, what a cute ribbon! Is it for me? Nope. Oh, I like it. I want a ribbon. Well, it actually is for you. Wow, like, thank you. Since you're so nice, I'll go on a date with you. Let's go look in that temple. So, if you don't remember, this is the trash bag lady with the bow on her head, uh, so that you know that she's a girl, that we encountered earlier. And you can go on a date with her once you bring her the ribbon, to reaffirm her gender that she has, uh, because that's just what you do. But... An important part of this is that she has a special key that can unlock any door, which is dangling on her side. So now we've connected the two areas of Sabrosia that we can teleport to, so we could inadvertently use Sabrosia as a way of transversing the map by just going through the different portals. Because Sabrosia is a lot tinier, let's show you the map, than Holdrum. So in a way, it's like fast travel, theoretically, but we also can teleport later on, so that's a little bit superfluous. But we're going to take this lady here, and we are going to use that key to access the next area in the Temple of Seasons, which is also locked for some reason. I don't understand why it would be locked, but it is, and now we got access to it. And we got to use our other item that we have found recently. Go. Four chunks. Delicious. Actually, I'm not sure. I think Sabrosians eat ore chunks, or I might be racist and be confusing them with Gorons, which are another race that lives underground. Incidentally, um, Sabrosians and Gorons are kind of juxtaposed in the story of the game a little bit because uh, they inhabit similar niches of living in volcanic volcanic areas. Anyway. <clears throat> I think this is the autumn spirit. Oh, summer. I am the spirit of summer. In summer, vines grow tall and creeks dry up. Remember that, it's important for later. Ancient Hyrulean legends say that the hero that's destiny... Yeah, 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 triangle, perhaps you are this hero. I'm sure I am, because I've already gotten two of you fuckers, so... It'd be a shame if... I wasn't the hero, because that would just be really awkward for someone to have to come and take these powers from me, and my sword that I have. So, ore chunks 
are pretty easy to rack up. You don't, if you're playing this yourself, I'm, I'm sure you're not using this as a legit Oracle Seasons walkthrough because this game is so fucking old. But, like, if you were curious, you don't really need to farm more chunks that much. Um, they're pretty, like, they, they throw them at you. They are pretty easy to find. There are also other areas you can take this lady on. Her name's Rosa, by the way. Um, there are other areas you can take her and her magical key, more importantly, to open stuff. But we don't necessarily need to do that right now. And in fact, I don't want to be near that volcano. There we go. I also should point out that part of the reason why Sabrosia is smaller than the other place we've... What the fuck is it called? Libriana, there we go, Libriana, Libriania, there we go. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but it's smaller than the other maps in Libriana because Holdrum is comparatively fucking huge, so Subrosia has to be smaller to compare because the overworld in Oracle of Seasons is bigger than that of Oracle of Ages, so to make it fair, the special area Subrosia is smaller. Huh, so we're at 12 minutes and 50 se- shit, 50 seconds, we can't go that way anymore, so I think what we're gonna do is we are gonna cut the video right here and I'm gonna meet you in the entrance of Spool Swamp in the next video so that we can go ahead and start the video off by jumping into the dungeon and then I'll get to talk at you more with my mouth holes and we're gonna see if I can be what is probably the most annoying boss in the game easily, in one of the most mildly annoying dungeons. But anyway, I'll catch you nerds later, thanks for listening to me talk, and walk, and stab. In the meantime, in the between time, this is Ethan Von Real, and I'm Ethan Von.